Yes, hi, my name is uh, George Lerakis and I am the creator of uh, Montreal Math and Physics uh, Tutoring Channel. I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, all my subscribers and viewers for uh, their participation and feedback and I would like also to welcome uh, new viewers into my channel. I constantly evaluate your uh, feedback and with my insight I strive to make my videos as effective as possible. I know that all of you have busy life uh, with your school and uh, that's why uh, I would like the time that you take to view my videos to get the most out of them. Since these are educational videos, uh, their effectiveness can be evaluated on the basis of the outcome. And what is the outcome here? Uh, the outcome here, to my opinion, I think is that after watching my videos, to be able to solve as many problems and exercises in the topic as possible. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm aiming and hoping that after you view my videos, you will be able to do the more problems than if you have watched any other video on the internet in the same topic. With that in mind, I believe that uh, in order for an uh, educational video in math and physics to be effective, it must find the golden ratio between two features. The first is it has to be uh, understandable and easy to follow. And the second, it has to be as much informative as possible. With this in mind, I believe that an effective educational presentation in math and physics, it has to address three issues. The first is the one. Sometimes this here is obvious. Uh, let's say you have uh, an example where uh, uh, somebody asks you uh, to solve a system of equations uh, using uh, the elimination method. So in this case, you know what to do. But in the majority of the problems, and specifically when you have uh, big tests or even more uh, importantly when you have finals, where you are examining the material of the whole year, uh, then you have to be able to identify uh, what to use. So this year, the when, uh, it will help you to find what to use when you have your exam. Uh, so let's say, for example, they ask you to find the integral of some function. Because there are so many rules that uh, you can use to find the integral of a function, you don't know uh, what to use. But uh, uh, if, you, uh, if you are familiar with this one here, uh, you will be able to have some indications on what to use in order to do this integral. The second issue that an effective uh, educational presentation should address is the how. How you will uh, solve a problem in the topic. And here the approach has to be uh, as general as possible. Uh, for this reason, here you must have two uh, things. That you, have you have to state a brief theory, uh, and this here is important uh, because many of my colleagues, they just skip this and this and they go immediately to the last one that I will be talking uh, shortly, and uh, they just go and do directly an example, which might be pleasant and easy, but uh, if you don't understand the theory behind it, the moment that you will have something which is a bit slightly different from the example that you already did, uh, you will get confused. Because why? Because if you solve only an example and you don't understand the theory, most probably you are doing it mechanically. So, and again, the moment that uh, uh, it gets a bit different than the example that you did, you get lost. So that's why good uh, educational uh, video, it must state at least a brief theory. And the second part of the how, 
uh, is some points of uh, clarification. I mean, besides the theory, uh, some uh, times we have to explain uh, some points that they have to be clarified, and this they have to do with the method that you have to be using. Uh, sometimes the one with the 2B, they are interchanged, but uh, certainly you have to address both one and uh, uh, points of clarification. And finally, uh, the third point is an illustrated example. So, you know, it is uh, an example that will employ all of what we said in eight, in uh, one and two. The courses that I will be uh, presenting uh, topics in are from uh, elementary, uh, high school up to first year university inclusive. So that in uh, math includes uh, arithmetic, developmental math, uh, trigonometry, high school algebra, college algebra, uh, single variable uh, calculus, uh, differential and integral calculus, both uh, for uh, science and engineering, and business and social science, linear algebra, and differential equations. And in physics, uh, uh, high school and uh, calculus-based uh, physics for uh, college. And uh, the courses, they will be mechanics, electricity and magnetism, uh, optics and waves with modern physics. The topics that I will be choosing from these courses uh, there will be topics that uh, I find that students uh, have more uh, hard time of doing it because they are confused uh, on what to use and how to use it. Uh, and of course, if you like my way of uh, uh, explaining things uh, you, and you have a question or problem, you can send it to me and I will uh, upload the answer in, the, in my next video. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and I hope you like my approach and be joining my channel and uh, bye for now.